dear student welcome to nagesh karaske orchid school channel myself in apade going to teach you fifth grade mathematics we are going to start with a new chapter that is matrix majors and temperature the name of a chapter itself says that matrix majors means we have to go for some measurement that is units which are as a kilometer meter and the temperature you know how we measure the temperature that is in the celsius and fahrenheit today we will start with a new chapter and we will learn in a detail what are our matrix and majors then we will go for temperature so my dear student how to convert the chapter name is matrix measures and the temperature so name itself says so we will go for convergence of a decimal notation how to convert already we had learned in the chapter fractions and decimal just we will recall it to convert a large unit into a smaller unit first what we have to do here in the converter we have to go for convergence of a large unit into smaller unit what should be done to convert a smaller unit into large units what type of operation should be done so we will see in detail here the converter we will learn here here it is given as a kilogram gram milligram kilogram is a highest unit we have to convert into suppose in the milligram so what we have to do here so kilogram when we have to convert into milligram we have to multiply it by 1000 so when higher unit we have to get convert into so smaller unit so we have to go for multiplication suppose now kilogram if you want convert into gram then we have to multiply by 1000 from gram to milligram we have to multiply by 1000 if we want to convert milligram into kilogram then we have to divide it by 1000 so what we have to do milligram to gram 1000 gram to kilogram 1000 so what we have to from smaller unit to the larger unit we have to divide so if you want to find out milligram to gram we have to go for division because we are converting converting the smaller unit into larger unit here again one example of liters which is a capacity the liter when you convert into milliliter we have to multiply from higher unit to the lower unit so we have to multiply it by 1000 here millimeter to liter so from smaller unit to the higher unit so we have to divide it by 1000 now one more example this was of a kilogram we will see of a kilometer because you know 1 meter is equal to 1000 kilometer so what we are doing kilometer when we have to convert into meter we are multiplying by 1000 when you want to convert meter into centimeter you know 1 meter is equal to 100 cm so we have to multiply by 100 and you know 1 cm is equal to 1 milli mm so we are multiplying it by 10 because 1 cm is equal to 10 mm so in this way the when you want to convert from higher unit that is kilometer to meter so what we have to do we have to multiply it by 1000 and from meter to the centimeter we have to multiply by 100 because 1 meter is equal to 100 cm and from centimeter to meter that is you have to multiply by 10 because 1 cm is equal to 10 mm now if you want to convert millimeter into centimeter we have to divide it by 10 we have to divide so milliliter is a smallest unit millimeter is a smallest unit and centimeter is more than that is a greater unit of this so what we have to do we have to divide if we want to convert into meter so what we have to centimeter should be divided by 100 to get in the values in meter 
again if you want to convert meter into kilometer so what we have to do we have to divide it by 1000 to get into a kilometer so this conversion you have to remember so it will help you to convert the units that is kilogram to gram gram to milligram liter to milliliter and kilometer to meter and centimeter and millimeter so all the units highest unit standard unit that is kilometer is given and the lowest unit that is in the standard form it is milliliter is all the conversions are given so i explain you how to convert and when we how to multiply to get the conversion of a given unit we will see some example here now 6 cm and 5 mm now 6 cm and 5 mm so 6 cm 5 upon 10 you know that 1 cm is equal to 10 mm so i had written as 5 upon 10 so 6 volt 5 upon 10 now it is in a mixed fraction that you can write in a decimal form so what we write as 6 0.5 centimeter so you know where to give a decimal point because we had learned in the previous session so this conversion i think so you understood now we will go for second example 2 meter 75 centimeter now you know 1 meter is equal to how many centimeter 100 so we are dividing it by 100 so we are writing 2 meter we are writing centimeter that is 75 upon 100 upon 100 is nothing but division of the centimeter so here we are getting 2 you can write this fraction that is 75 upon 100 as 0.75 or we can say 2.75 meter don't forget to put the units because they had told us to convert into higher unit so 10 kilometer 250 meter now you know what is 1 kilometer is equal to how many meters is equal to 1000 so what we write is a 10 whole 250 upon 1000 so if you are getting this fraction you can write in a decimal so we are having as a 10 whole so we write as a 10 point what will be here 250 0 because you know we have to leave 3 digit from the right hand side because we are having 1000 in the denominator. So what will be the answer is 10.25 kilometer or you can say 250 kilometer or 10.25 kilometer. Now we will go for one more example which is of kg. We had seen this of a distance so one will go for an kg that is 8 kg 75 750 grams so 8 whole 750 upon 1000 because 1 kg is equal to 1000 gram so we are dividing it by 1000 so 8.750 because here we are having 1000 so 3 zeros leave the 3 digits and give the decimal point so 8.750 kg or we can say as 8.75 kg now we will see one more example of capacity that is a liquid that is liter 4 liter 55 milliliter is equal to 4 whole 55 upon 1000 why because 1 liter is equal to 1000 ml so is equal to 4.055 liter now we are having here only two digits in the numerator but it is divided by 1000 so we have to leave three digit so what will be three digit if we have two digit just we have to write zero and we have to give a decimal point so what is our answer is 4.055 liter so in this way we had seen with some example conversions of a distance smaller distance higher distance 
weight that is a kgs and a capacity that is a liquid that is in a liter now you you how to remember this what when you want to convert it to thousand what you have to do multiply by 10 then thousand to tens multiply by 10 then 10 tens to ones you have to multiply by 10 then tens ones to 10 tenth, tenth the word is tens you have to multiply by 10 100 again you have to multiply by 10 and thousand you have to multiply by 10 when it is uh, when it is 10th 100 and this means it is upon 10 upon 100 and upon 1000 so this you have to remember this so it will be more easy to go for conversion now we will see this we had seen only of a multiplication later on we will see of a division so converting 82 0.65 hectometer into and decameter so kilo kilometer hectometer decameter meter decimeter centimeter and millimeter so what we have the question is given as hectometer to decameter so here it is hectometer to decameter what we have to do we have to multiply it by 10 so 82. 65 multiplied by 10 now it is easy for you just when it is multiplied by 10 100 1000 just it will shift one decimal forward or you can say to the right hand side so we can now doing long multiplication we can write as a 826.5 decameter what one decimal it will shift here because it is multiplied by So it is 826.5 decameter. So already I told we how to multiply by 10 to convert into the lower unit. So this was the example that is 82.65 hectometer into decameter. Now we will see the addition and subtraction. You know addition and subtractions of a decimal also. Just here we have to take a care of an units which are in a kilometer, meter, whatever it is. So we will learn one. We will see one example. Add four kilometer, eighty six, eight hundred and sixty four meter, fifty six centimeter, three millimeter. Here there are many units. That is kilometer, meter, centimeter, and millimeter. Then two. 7 k km 930 m 32 cm 1 mm and 2 km 56 m 5 cm 9 mm this all we have to add and express the sum as the decimal in a meters so here it is given just what we will do we will write for you know now expanded form so that we have to apply here so 4 km 864 m 56 cm 3 mm is written as 8000 for a for sorry 4864.563 m because it is cm and mm Then seven kilometer nine hundred and thirty meter thirty two centimeter one millimeter. Here, why we had done in this way? Because they had asked us to convert in a meter. So what we had done? We had taken a kilometer and meter to an LHS that is left hand side, and that centimeter and millimeter we had converted. We had taken into right hand side plus. Again, two kilometer, fifty-six meter, five centimeter, and nine millimeter. So, how we will write? Here we are having a uh, two thousand fifty-six meter. Here it is a single digit number. Here we uh, two kilometer. You know, one kilometer is equal to thousand meter. So here it should be three digit, but we have fifty-six. 
so we have to insert here 0 so it is 2056.5 cm and 9 mm so we write as 059 meter so this we had converted and we have written in a meter form just we have to add this what we have to do we have to add so after adding this 9 plus 1 is 10 plus 3 is 13 getting one carry over here and after calculation we are getting as and 14850.943 meter because they have asked that should be in a decimal in a meters so therefore we can say that is 14850.943 meters so in this way we can do the addition when they had given us a units as a 4 meter uh, sorry 4 kilometer 864 meter 56 centimeter 3 millimeter and we had done the sum of all the units which was given to us because it was an operation of addition now we will go for another example that is a subtraction subtract 3 kg 178 gram from 8 kg 50 gram already the question itself said we have to go for subtraction and express the difference as a decimal in kilograms difference means that is subtraction what we have to give in which unit we have to give in kilogram that is in the form of decimal so what we will do we write as 8 kg 50 gram as 8.050 gram that is kg this is our gram that is 0, 050 gram to what we have to convert into kg so we are writing 8.050 kg now we have to go for subtraction so we are writing as minus 3 kg 178 gram so under the kg we will write 3 and this is a gram so in, under the grams we will write as 178 that is 3.178 kg after the subtraction we get as 4.872 kg because they have asked us to write in a kilogram in a form of a decimal so therefore we can say the answer is 4.872 kilogram or we can say 4 kg 872 gram both are correct so after the 4 you have to write kg and after 872 you have to write gram but they have told us to write in a decimal form so we are writing in decimal as 4.872 kg now you have to remember this when you have to convert into the convert smaller unit to the larger unit we have to go for a division so when you want to convert into centimeter when meter is given to you so we have to divide it by 2 10 sorry when it is this decimeter we have to divide it by 10 then meter again we if you want to convert into meter so decimeter should be divided by 10 when you want to convert into decameter then meter should be converted or oh sorry divided by 10 and when you want a hectometer then decimeter whatever the number is given that should be divided by 10 so last is highest unit unit is kilometer when the hectometer to kilometer that should be divided by 10. So these are the all the units. This is the larger unit to measure the distance, and this is the smaller smaller unit to measure the distance. To convert in short, we can say to convert from smaller unit to higher unit, we have to divide it by 10. Now we will see examples, so it will be more easy to understand. So convert 532.60 decameter into decimeter into decameter so here it is decimeter is given to us we have to convert into 
decameter. So before that we have to go for the meter and then we have to convert into decameter. So decimeter is how much? Is given to us as 532.60. So what we have to do? We have to divide by year 10. We have to divide by year 10. So we can say that divide by 10, divide by 10 is nothing but divide by 100. So what we are writing here 532.60 divided by 100. When it is division, you know the decimal will shift two digit backward. Two digit backward or to your left hand side. So after two digit, we can put the decimal point here. So we can say it is 5.326 decameter. 5.326 decameter. So this scale, if you understand that is kilometer, hectometer, decameter, meter, decimeter, centimeter and millimeter. So you have to remember this then you can convert the whatever unit is given and in which unit you want conversion that you can do it by multiplication or by division method. Now Find the answer to the problems given below here. So convert 4460 decameter into kilometer. Now that should be written as in a kilometer form. So now we have seen what we have to do. So what will be the answer is 44.6 kilometer because we have to divide it by 100. So the decimal point will be 44.6 kilometer. Now convert 2 millimeter into an decameter. 2 millimeter means it's very lowest unit and we have to go for a decameter. So what we will do? We will divide and we will find out that answer is 0 0.0002 decameter because the highest unit we have to find out. Here we are finding in kilometer. Here we will find in meter. So we have to lower unit to the higher unit. So we have to do, we have to divide and we will 3, 4, 6 centimeter into a meter. 3, 4, 6 centimeter into a meter. So what will be the answer? 3.46 meter. So here smaller unit to higher unit. So what we will do? We will go for division. So convert 66,780 decameter into an hectometer. So what will be the answer is 66.78 hectometer. So in this way we have to not go for a long proceed, uh, steps. We can go directly with the answer by putting a decimal point properly and units properly. Now we will see if the large unit is a 10 times, we had said multiply by 10 means nothing but it is a 10 times the smaller unit then we place the decimal point before one digit starting to the count from the end. So we had learned this in a chapter decimal. So again just we have to recall if the large unit is 10 times means is multiplied by 10 the smaller unit then we place the decimal point before the one digit starting to the count from the end. If the larger unit is 100 times the smaller unit then we place the decimal point before two digits starting to the count from the end. Here if the large unit is thousand times the smaller unit then we place the decimal point before the three digits starting to the count from the end. Here just we had taken the example of multi division of or multiplication of 10, 100 and 1000. So where we have to insert the decimal point just we had just recall and we have to find out where to insert and which unit we have to write. Now we will see example here. 
convert 58 kilometer 600 meter into an kilometer. This is given as 58 kilometer 600 meter into kilometer. We have to write the units in kilometer. So conversion of higher units here it is given 600 meter. So what we have to do when it is given as 600 meter should be converted into kilometer. So we have to go for a division. Now you know 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter. So here kilometer, hectometer, this decameter and meter. So you know if you know directly you can go for that 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter. So here what will be the 3 times 1000 it is 10 divided by 10, 10 divided by 10 divided by 10 is nothing but divided by 1000. So what we will write here 600 meter we will convert already this is given in the kilometer. So 600 meter we have to convert so we write as 600 upon 1000 is nothing but divided by 1000. So is equal to what we have to write? Write the number as it is. Here we are having a thousand, so three zeros. So when it is divided by thousand, from the end we have to leave all three digit and we have to put the decimal point. So what we will do? One, two and three digit we will leave and we will put the decimal point. So it is converted into kilometer. So what it is here? 0 0.600 is kilometer. Now our question is convert 58 kilometer. 600 meter so what will be here is equal to 58 kilometer when you are adding this 0 0.600 kilometer will give us 58.6 kilometer so by adding this whatever it is here kilometer under the meter you will write as a 00 and by adding this both what will be the answer 58.6 kilometer so you can do directly also when it is known unit to you that is kilometer to meter or meter to centimeter or centimeter to millimeter you can directly divide by thousand when it is required by hundred you can divide by hundred and when it is centimeter to millimeter you have to divide it by sorry divide by ten so in this way when you want to convert the lower unit to the higher unit you have to do the division. Now we will find some answer to the given questions. Here convert 46 kilometer 980 meter into kilometer. They have told us into kilometer means here we are having a smaller unit that is a meter. Meter should be converted into kilometer then only we can add. When the two units are added similar then only we can do the addition. So to convert a smaller unit to the larger unit that is a kilometer we have to go for division. So what we have to do here we have to do in a mind the division by 1000. So what will be the answer 46.98 kilometer. If you write here 0 it is no issue it is correct only. So 46.980 is also correct one. So convert 99 decameter 600 centimeter into an decameter. So what will be that? Here answer will be 99.6 decameter because we have to convert into larger unit. So convert 56 meter 25 centimeter into a meter. So again from the smaller unit that is centimeter we have to convert into meter. You know 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. So wait, what we have to do? We have to divide it, this lower unit by 100. So what will be the answer? The meter it is already. So we write as 56.25 meter divided by 100 means we have to leave two digit and we have to give a decimal point. So answer is 56.25 meter. Now convert 69 kilometer 18 decameter into an kilometer. So what will be here? 69.80 kilometer. These are the conversion which you can do directly which will help you in the filling the blanks. So we that will help you to write the answer directly without going for the long 
multiplication or division here one more example we will see Betty needs a 2 meter 25 cm of a clothes to stitch a shirt t-shirt sorry how much cloth is needed to stitch a 176 t-shirt this is a question just you have to think and give me the answer that for the one t-shirt 2 meter 25 cm cloth is required for one t-shirt so how many how much cloth will be needed to stitch a 176 t-shirt so just to think and give me the answer in the next session so my dear student today we had learned the conversions of a uh, units that is a uh, kilometer meter decameter centimeter millimeter even we had learned about kilogram gram and even a uh, liters and milliliter hope so you have understood try to find out some similar example from the textbook and try to solve it thank you very much